The first part of the state capture report is out. The question is, what now? Receiving the first volume of the state capture report, President Ramaphosa announced that government would wait for a full report before pronouncing on any action going forward. However, other institutions are not prohibited from taking action within their mandate. This process, which we expect will culminate in the submission of the report and implementation to Parliament by the end of June 2022, does not prevent other institutions from acting within their statutory mandate on any of the findings and recommendations of the report. The second largest party in Parliament, the DA, wants action to be taken swiftly. I'm calling on President Sura Maposa to urgently table the first Sondok report in Parliament so that the legislative wing of our constitutional democracy can get to work studying its findings and taking the necessary remedial action. The Commission spent three years on its inquiries. It was given six extensions as it unraveled the threats of state capture. While doing its work, the Commission interviewed more than 300 witnesses. The Freedom Front Plus says the recommendations must be implemented. The success of the whole Zondu Commission will be determined whether the President is going to implement the recommendations made by the Zondu Commission. It cost the taxpayers of South Africa almost one billion rand. In part one of the report, one recommendation, for instance, is an independent anti-corruption authority or agency for South Africa. The Freedom Front Plus will support as such. Handing over the first part of the report, the chairperson of the State Capture Commission, Raymond Zondo, vowed that all the volumes would be handed over by the end of February this year. Political parties have welcomed the report. This is long overdue. This report should have been with the president some months ago, but we are all, we are all aware that um, Deputy Chief Justice Raymond Zondo kept on postponing and asking for more time, but we are excited that um, finally the report is with the president. Our only concern now is that uh, we know that President Silva Maposa is going to sit with the report for months and that he is going to keep South Africans in the dark. What is left now is for the law enforcement agencies to chase all those criminals who are mentioned in this report, arrest them, prosecute them, confiscate all their assets. The volume released this week showed that approximately 1,438 persons were implicated. More than 3,000 persons were given Rule 3.3 notices and over 75,000 pages of oral evidence were collected. Ntanta Katani, SABC News, Johannesburg.